Hey, I'm Cameron McKenzie at CameronMCNZ on Twitter, and I'm going to show you how to create a pipeline, but not just any pipeline, the Jenkins Hello World pipeline. So if you want to create a Jenkins pipeline, you go over here and you click New Item, and you notice that you've got the option to add a pipeline. That's what I'm going to choose here for my Jenkins Hello World pipeline. So I'll click on pipeline there, click OK. And if you took my Hello World freestyle Jenkins build project, you'd notice that many of the things initially look the same. So you've got this first set of options like, you know, discard old builds, um, throttle project, uh, should it be parameterized? So those are standard with any freestyle project. We don't have the source code management option that you'd see with a freestyle project. You actually do that inside of your script. You can set up build triggers, so you can have it build periodically, so every minute, every hour, every day. You can have it pull your source code management tool in order to do a build, so have it check to see if somebody's checked something in in GitHub and do that. You can set up a, a build trigger. You can set it up to run after another project's been built. So you can set up your triggers. Those are pretty important. Um, and then you'll see that we've got this pipeline script. So with a freestyle project, you've got build steps and you've got post build steps. We put all of that into the pipeline script. Now there are some examples that you can uh, take a look at. So you can see, hey, you know, there's a hello world here, GitHub Maven, scripted pipeline. So they put a couple of examples in there for you if you just want to see one that will work. Here's the one that I put together. It's just basically, this is a declarative pipeline. In Jenkins, you can have scripted pipelines or declarative pipelines. Scripted pipelines allow you to put a bunch of groovy code in there, which can access Java APIs and do real crazy stuff. Uh, we don't like to put too much code into our pipelines. We like to keep them nice and clean, which is what the declarative pipeline is all about. And the declarative pipelines, you can tell, because it starts with the word pipeline. Anyways, here's the basic gist of it. It starts with the word pipeline, and then you can specify an agent to run on. So here I'm just going to say run this on this current machine, but you might have uh, you know, a node somewhere that you want this to run on that has access to a NoSQL database. You might want to use a Docker image. So maybe you're working with Docker and you want a Docker Maven image to do the build. You would specify that here by saying any. It's just going to choose anything that's available, which will really be my local machine. And then I can specify stages for the build. So I'm only going to have one stage in this one. And that stage is going to be to echo out hello world. And I'll use this sh syntax. That basically says run it in a shell script. Now I'm running this on Windows, and usually shell scripts are supposed to be for Unix, Ubuntu, but shell script will actually be valid there. And there you go, that's a, a basic Hello World pipeline. Now, I, if, as far as Hello World goes, stop there, click apply, click save, click save, click apply, and then just run your build and you can see it go out. But if you stick around, I'll show you how to pull from Git and do a, a little bit of build, but that will save the pipeline there. Now that's not gonna run it. To run it, you click build now and it builds. It should only take a second. I can even click build now again and that'll cause it to go for a second time. And click build now again and it'll go boom for a third time. And then you get these little windows here. You can click on the logs and it'll tell you the logs and here the log says, hey, hello world. So all of this is getting printed out from the pipeline. now. You know, if you were really courageous, you could go one step further. Now, this does imply that you have Git installed on your local machine. It also implies that you have Maven installed on your personal machine. And if you, you don't, well, this part of the example won't work. And it's not really Hello World anymore. It's a little bit more complicated. So. Um, you know, uh, so your mileage may vary, but if you actually wanted to see how you go a little bit deeper in one of these scripts, I'm going to add a pipeline that's got three stages to it. And the first stage is just printing out hello world. That's what we did before. So all of this is the same. And then I'm going to add a new stage. I'm going to call this the, um, well, I'm going to call this pull from GitHub stage. And all I have to do is say git and then the name of a GitHub repository. And if that's actually the GitHub repository there, rock, paper, scissors. And right here, it'll actually tell you that's what the GitHub URL is for that, rock, paper, scissors, dot git. So I just have to say, hey, pull from git, specifically this repository. That'll pull all the code from that repository in. And then I've got this step right here. 
And for this step, I just want the this command maven compile test package to all run within the shell. And this is just a, a Java build tool which will compile all the code pulled down from this. So I got an X there, I'll click apply, that X will go away. Um, and so there you go, that's a little bit more of a complicated pipeline. Again, this goes beyond Hello World now, so if you can't run it, it might be because you don't have Git installed or you don't have Maven installed. But if you do, and you were to click and you were to run that, I'll click build now, you would see a couple more stages come up. So, you know, Hello World, pull from GitHub, then after pull from GitHub, we're going to see build with Maven. And I can even go in here, take a look at the logs, and you can see, hey, it's doing a little bit of a, a fetch from that GitHub repository. And then over here, it's trying to do an actual build. So I can come in here and you can say, hey, we're building the Rashambo rock, paper, scissors project, and we're going to run some tests. And when it's all done, the build is successful and the war file is generated. So, you know, that's a, a little bit more complicated. You can see some tests were run there. I run five tests, zero failure. That's a pretty good result. So that's a little bit more complicated than just your typical hello world. But I just thought I'd show you, you know, kind of the next step after you've got past that hello world. But yeah, there you go. That's how you create a basic hello world Jenkins pipeline. And there you go. That's how easy it is to put together a Jenkins hello world pipeline. Now, if you enjoyed that tutorial, head over to the serverside.com. I'm the editor in chief over there. We've got lots of great tutorials on Jenkins, Git, GitHub, DevOps tools, enterprise development, you name it. If you're interested in my personal antics, you can follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ. And as always, subscribe on the YouTube 